everybody, I'm Kelsey, I'm single, and today I'm going to transform my twin daughters into vampires, because I'm a great mom. So I'm so, so excited that uh, we're all going to be here today and get to dive into a supernatural world with Naya and Natalie, our vampire twins. Now, they're not vampires yet. For Natalie, the quest is to become the master vampire. And for Naya, the quest is just to become a good vampire. I just moved them in to a new house that I found on the gallery. It was like a starter home that I thought was pretty cute. Why don't I give you guys a home tour of this house that I chose? Let's go to the first floor. So we got a very simple but large bathroom and nice you know wallpaper in here very plain but like perfect they got like a spooky kind of living room TV sofa and then they got their fun kitchen here with like you know pretty pretty standard stuff and then upstairs they've got their bedroom with some spooky photos that I added in and in, in a nice four poster bed for both of our, our girls to sleep in let's plan some outfits and get into our makeovers I feel like that is a vibe for her okay warm weather outfit this looks like our Naya oh yeah some red flip-flops cute it kind of makes sense as a vampire that she would be wearing some kind of hat so maybe she'll get like a big floppy beach hat I like it I like that she like just a soft bean. She's our earth tone goddess. This is her dress formal wear? Girl, no. Oh my god, this is perfect. No hats. Next. I like the full body outfits because they're always nicely matched, but also it's less work for your girl. All right, so Natalie, we're going to give the full to do. Natalie is ready to trans Form. She is not the woman she used to be. She is a queen, a vampire queen. She's rocking it, all black and red, everything. Let's go. <laughs> this is her hot weather look. <laughs> Next, party wear. I really want her to be very vampy. Flaming hot. Oh, she looks like a poodle. Ooh, I like this. This is her workout clothes. <laughs> now, her formal wear. Now we've got two, you know, dramatic looks from our girl. We got a comfy look and she's got enough clothes. So we're done with our makeovers. But you know what? It's it's still daytime, but I think they need to meet the new neighbors pretty soon. Look at them. Oh, they're so happy. They're hugging each other. They're like, I'm so happy that we got like this house together and now we're moved in. Is there any vampires out in a boot? I feel like this is Vlad's. I guess Naya and Natalie are gonna go visit the neighbor. Oh my gosh, Caleb, why are you in the outside? Aren't you hot? How can you walk outside? Discuss the neighborhood and cobble in his house. Be like, your house is beautiful. Is this your home? I like the lighting. It looks a lot friendlier with all this, all the holiday lights on, which kind of cracks me up. You know what I feel like they would do is like they would get to know him. And then after they like get to know him, and praise his vampire lifestyle, they try to meet his sister. They'll try to meet every vampire in the neighborhood and then throw a party and invite them all. Oh, okay, he just left. Natalie would be the one to walk up and knock on the door and Naya would be like, I don't know if we should just knock on their door. And, and Natalie's like, we're new to the neighborhood. We're gonna do it. So she's knocking. Oh, they said, come on in, welcome. Okay, so I believe this is Caleb's home. They can hang out with Caleb and, uh, you know, compliment his house again. Get to know him. She's like, I love your house. It's so beautiful. Oh, is she gonna play chess with him? That's fun. <laughs> Naya's just like over here reading a book alone because of course she is. She's like, I don't know, I feel uncomfortable. And Natalie's like, trust me, trust me. I'm talking to this guy in a coat. Discuss interests. They're having a pleasant conversation. Praise vampire lifestyle again. And enthuse about vampires. Just talk about your love of vampires. She seems so amped. <laughs> and then uh, he Very seems annoying. amped too. What? Natalie would be the one uh, yeah. to be kind of pushy and Naya would actually be the one to be friends with everybody. But Naya's being a little shy right now, which honestly, oh my God, Naya, can you learn 
how to play the organ because I just really need that in my life right now. Ooh, he's being very vampy. And I feel like she's gonna discuss favorite recipes because she's a little foodie. She would be like the one that'd be like, oh, I'm making a vampire pun. And like, oh, I'm gonna talk about being vegetarian. Natalie would be like the one to be like, discuss interests and like compliment his house a lot and maybe have a deeper conversation. Oh my God, she's gaining the pipe organ skill. She's very bad, but it's so charming. Look at her go. Soon you'll be playing at baseball games, my girl. I really want her to be good so she can like play the organ when like people come enter the party. Poor little Naya, she's just so shy. She's like, I'm just gonna play the organ. Take a photo together. She wants to see if he'll he'll appear in the photo because she's such a nerd. She's like, I wanna take a photo with you. Will you take a photo with me? And Naya's like, Natalie! Uh, and Naya's like, cheese! <laughs> and she's like, oh look, it's us! They met him enough. So let's travel with Natalie, and we're gonna go try to check out Caleb's house and introduce ourselves to Caleb. Okay, well we're here with Caleb- ah! Caleb just left! What? Did we just come all the way to Caleb's home? No, Natalie's like, no, Caleb, we're not coming all the way to Caleb's home and not meeting him. She's gonna knock on his door, on his big vampire mansion door with twinkly lights, which, okay. Nobody's home, dang it! Naya's like, Natalie, I'm hungry, I wanna go home. Natalie's like, no, I wanna wait out until he's back. All right, so I guess Natalie's just going on a little jog. Oh my gosh, did her sister go and fall asleep on a bench? She did! Freaking Naya! Natalie's like over here looking at her sister like, why did you do that? This is crazy. Oh, now they're both asleep. Maybe you should go home then. <laughs> Back at Gladstone Cottage, Natalie would probably make Naya get a job. Like, I feel like Natalie would be the one that's like, I'm not getting a job, but I think you should because we only have $400. Naya would be like, oh, okay, Natalie. Like, I'll look for a job, don't worry. So she would be like, hey, hey, like, Naya. Garza. I'm like, it's been really cold in here. Like, I think that we need to make some more money because we don't have enough money to heat the house. And like, it's been really miserable. I don't know, I'm not excited about the food that you're making and I think you should just get a job. Like, look, it's snowing outside. Like, we're gonna die. And she just makes N Naya feel super guilty. And so she's like, uh, sure, Natalie, I'll definitely find a job. Like, don't worry about it. And Natalie's like, okay, good. Naya, a career doctor. A doctor would be kind of funny because then she could save people and then also have easy access to blood, which would be interesting. She's gonna be a doctor. Oh, they already got uh, money from her being a doctor. So Naya's just starting the doctor career. She wants to save people. Natalie's like, um, okay, that's like a choice, Naya, but I'm glad that you, you know, are getting us something. So Natalie's like, okay, Naya, like, I, you know, like, I am gonna go to bed. It's been a really long day for me. And honestly, like, I'm really tired. Become a vampire using a computer to research information on vampires. So we need to buy a computer. I wonder if there is a cheap computer. Let's see. Okay, there is, that they can just barely afford. So let's maybe give them a computer so that she can uh, research vampires herself. And she wants to reach vampire lore level three. She's gonna kind of like look up more vampire stuff because she's really passionate about it too. I know her sister is like kind of the like mean evil one that's really interested, but like I think Naya is the one that really wants to also learn about being a vampire and is really excited about it too. So she's researching late into the night. And she discovered some vampire secrets, it's great. Okay, she's one out of three, which is great. She read that garlic and plasma fruit can be found in Forgotten Hollow. Ooh, plasma fruit. I think that's probably what she'll end up eating, right? She's level two already. She's a little bored from just having researched all day, but it's okay. It's New Year's Eve. Oh my gosh, New Year, New Natalie. Natalie's like, I want to meet our neighbors. Why haven't they said hi to us yet? So they are gonna go with Caleb. They're actually gonna invite Caleb along to be like, hey, I wanna meet more of the new neighbors. Wait, they're all out here. Yes, meet him. Friendly introduction. Oh my goodness. Get in there. Get in there, Natalie. Just be like, hi. Naya and Caleb, I kind of ship it. Like, I'm not mad at this. Caleb might be a little bit more like, sweet. Then again though, I could totally see Natalie trying to like mosey up to Caleb and like manipulate him. They've met the two guys. 
which is good. They're definitely going to have a New Year's Eve party in Viking Skies, and they're going to hopefully become good enough friends that they can get them to turn them. Natalie would be the type to kind of just like do whatever it takes to get what she wants. I don't think she'd be a relationship type person. But the reason why Naya would even want to be a vampire is to like be a part of this like community. Natalie's really trying to have a pleasant conversation with him. It seems like he's kind of okay with it. Like I could totally see Natalie like flirting with this old dude just to get what she wants and then immediately be like, I don't know what you're talking about. I would never flirt with you. Which would be so scandalous, and Naya would hate that. Natalie's having a great time. Naya would be the type of girl, though, that the, she would, like, become his best friend first, and then slowly kind of, like, clue him into the fact that she thinks he's cute. They're good friends right now, so I feel like she would just really just start as friends first. But they're having such a pleasant conversation. Like, it's so charming. And she'll be like, I love your jacket, it's so cool. And he also has some like funky yeah. hair and she has some funky hair. Natalie. They're gonna be really cute. Whereas like Natalie's just gonna just be out here to get what she wants. Like she just doesn't care. Come on in, oh yeah! She's gonna be welcomed into his lair. Natalie is gonna try to somehow get them in with him and then take his house from him, honestly. I can totally see her walking in going, Someday this house is gonna be mine, however I can do it. Like maybe she'll like want to like convince him to, to like adopt them as their wards, which Chelsea would hate. Chelsea would find out and be like, are you kidding me? You have a mom. And, and Natalie would be like, mom, I don't care. Meanwhile, Natalie is just like having a chat with this guy. I wonder if she could like kind of start a little bit seducing him. They're best friends! Oh! It's so cute. Because they're best friends, he's gonna turn her. Natalie's gonna be mad because she didn't work on becoming friends with him. Oh my gosh, he liked the flirt. She's like, hey, you have a great house. Oh my gosh, you're looking so good. He seems like he's interested. She's like asking if she's single. Like she's kind of going around the bush. She's not straight seducing him. But she's Adler. trying to do this thing where like he flirting with him enough that he thinks that she's interested and then she can get what she wants and then be like, wait, that that never happened. Oh, she would never confess her attraction. She would probably think he's super gross too. Like I think Natalie's super superficial. I think also when she becomes queen, she should like find some really attractive person, be it male or female, and like make them her like kind of like second hand, like second in command kind of thing. She's like, oh, like it's so cozy. Oh no! He said no. Okay, so she she went a little too far, where she like kind of pushes her luck a little bit. But then she's very good at like manipulating to like getting back into people's good graces really fast. She's not gonna let that stop her for very long. It's 2 p.m. I think maybe they should go home and get ready for their New Year's party because they're gonna be really excited. And I was gonna be like, it was so cool hanging out with you, Caleb. You know, when you have a new friend, you're like, oh my god, we're best friends. But I think deep down, she's like really crushing. Whereas like Natalie's like, all right. You know, I did what I could. And then around eight, I think, is when they'll start their party. Why are they both dreaming of puppets? Oh, they're having twin dreams! They're twinning in their dreams. They're dreaming of the same thing. It turns out that a talent showcase is going on in the lounge, and Caleb just asked Natalie to go with him. And Natalie's gonna go. Natalie would be like, yeah, I'll go with you. And I think that would destroy Naya if she knew that Caleb had asked Natalie over her. So he asked her out at six. They were planning on throwing a, a party together for New Year's Eve, but then he asked her out early. So much drama. She's like really wanting to hang out with him. She's gonna try a little, a little flirt. She probably noticed that her sister was into him because like of how she was talking to him and she's just ignoring it. Like she's like, but my sister never told me. Maybe I was wrong. Caleb would be attracted to Natalie because like she's so confident and like really puts herself out there. But I think that he and Naya are probably a better fit. They would be like more in love. Oh no, he said no, he rejected her. Oof, second rejection. It seems like he did not want her, which is interesting. She get really kind of annoyed that he rejected her and she'd almost like see it as a challenge maybe we should go back home at it's 9 30. we should start the party naya's gonna be a little bit mad at natalie but she won't say anything 
because she loves her sister and she feels like that's being possessive. Naya would be like a little hurt that she wasn't invited and that Natalie went out and then came home an hour and a half after she said she was gonna come home for the party. They would decorate if they had money, but they really don't have too much. Let's see if there's like a little something they can put up for New Year's. Oh, these are cute. They'll put those up. I like these glass candles. I feel like that's such a vibe. What a mood. Let's do it. All right. Yeah. Okay, so they got a little bit of decor. Nothing really crazy. You're at a house party. One host. It's just going to be Natalie. Natalie's like, forget you, Naya. You're a guest. There we go. We're going to have it in the Pichichme residence at Gladstone. Call it. Ooh, look what they chose. Look at Natalie, she's rocking it. Watch the countdown to midnight, yeah. I'm loving this look. Where are our guests? Oh my goodness! They counted down, happy New Year's! Oh my gosh, throw New Year's Eve confetti. Where are, the, where are the guys that they invited? They're outside on the street. Oh, thank you so much. Oh my gosh, why didn't they come up to the door? That's so weird. Natalie is gonna welcome them. Be like, oh my gosh, thank you so much for coming. Welcome to our New Year's party that happened after New Year's. She should tell an engaging story. Yeah, she's welcoming him too. She's like, hey, Caleb. Caleb is looking good. He looks like one of those like guys in an emo band that I had a super big crush on when I was in like middle school, high school. Yay, she's like, happy new year's. She's gonna like get really deep with him and be like, listen, I really wanna be turned. She's like having a deep conversation with both of them. Like, you know, this year's really making me reflect on my life. And I really think that I know what I want. <gasps> no, it went badly. Did he say no? Did he say no again? No, no, no. I want them turned tonight. I want them turned on New Year's night. Oh, Natalie is going to be so annoyed if Naya gets turned first. Natalie wants to turn Naya. Oh, they have to ask one on one. She's got him alone. She's really going to be like, thank you so much for coming. You look amazing. She's going to reveal a very deep secret. I was a child of a woman that wants 100 babies. Just kidding. Will you turn me? Please. No, still no? This is so weird. She's still talking, which I think like Naya would be a little bit confused why they were bonding so much. Ask to turn. No, ask him to turn you. I want this to happen. Turn me. She's asking him like three times tonight. Maybe he's just unhappy. He's not in the mood, I feel like. We're gonna ask him one more time and then we're gonna work on Vlad. He said no again. Naya's got her first day at the job today. She's going into the hospital to work as a nurse. So bye, Naya. So while Naya's away, Natalie will play. So let's get Natalie a wink and she's gonna go visit Vlad at his home. Oh my God, she's looking so good. We're going to the head honcho himself. I feel like Natalie would prefer to be turned by the head vampire anyway. Okay, so we're here at the mansion and we're just gonna spam him until he loves us and will turn us. Right now, she's really trying to lay it on thick so she doesn't make any mistakes. He's evil, same! Oh my gosh, same, I'm evil too! Eventually, she's gonna probably wanna take down everyone and make everyone hate her, cause she's evil. I wonder if he's kind of more interested in her as a blood bag than as like a vampire. But she's really trying to like feel like she's an equal and not just another one of those girls. Ask to turn, it's on there, so let's see. It came up as an option. What? Is this happening? <gasps> yeah, buddy, let's go. Dreams came true for Natalie today. She is now officially becoming a vampire. Oh my gosh. Oh, now she's got to drink his blood. Oh, he pushed her off. That sounds about right. With Oh, look at her. <gasps> yeah! I can't wait to see her in her dark form. I really wanted Caleb to turn Naya, but I think that I have, I have a feeling Natalie will want to do it. Well, it seems like Natalie got what she wanted. We've got one twin down, one to go. Look at, look at, okay, she's become a vampire. She's not fully a vampire yet. She's like, soon this all will be mine and he will be dead. <gasps> Drama. Who knows? 
All right, she's skipping home. She looks really proud of herself. Caleb says, I heard you became friends with Vlad. He's pretty cool. So Caleb apparently knows Vlad. I'm sure Vlad turned Caleb. All right, so we're back in the Gladstone Cottage. So Naya's back home from work. I think she's gonna go to bed. Oh my gosh, okay, greetings, child. My ancient plasma senses. You have recently been turned. You turned us. What do you mean you sensed it? You turned us. It will take a few days to fully change into a vampire, but fear not, the night awaits. Yeah! So she can't really change Naya yet. Who's calling? Yes! Crazy party and he's inviting her. Maybe a good night out is what he needs to turn her. They're going to a dance party together. She's very excited that he invited her out. All right, she needs some fun. So why doesn't, why don't you dance? together then. Why don't you go dance with him? He kind of seems like he's acting a little funny with her. She's like, hey, is everything okay? Like you've been acting a little weird. And then I want him, them to go to the cliffs over here, overlooking the cliff, go here together. And I want him to turn you in a beautiful location on a cliff side. And then they'll be like kind of together forever. But honestly, keep dancing, dance your pants off. All right, if you freaking go there and then leave, I'm gonna kill you. Okay, we're gonna pause really fast before he goes anywhere, cause this is a perfect. I want her to have like a deep conversation with him about like what what happened at the New Year's party. So look at this view. Into oblivion they look. Listen like, I thought it was really weird the way you acted, you know, at the party. Like, I don't know what you were up to. I really like love your vampire lifestyle and I want to be a part of your community. Like, we're best friends, you know this about me. And I would never ask you, like, ask you to use you. And I would just love it if you turned me. He said no again. He doesn't oh, no. want to turn her because he's afraid and he doesn't want to hurt her. Like he's trying to protect her. I don't think she's ready to flirt with him. I don't think she, I think that was kind of an awkward conversation. She's gonna stay friends for now. Heartfelt compliment. Really get to know him while he's walking away. I guess that's it. Wow, that was like really awkward I think between them to be honest. It did not go the way she wanted and she's kind of upset. He has her best interests at heart, but he's still kind of ignoring what she's asking. Meanwhile, our girl is feeling great. She's super happy. She had an excellent holiday. She might be disgusted by you soon, but like she's not yet a vampire, so she can't really turn Naya. But what she can do is invite Vlad over to have him bond with Naya. So why don't we call and ask to hang out. Be like, hey Definitely. bud, like I think my sister really wants to be turned to. I, forever is always sleeping. What? It's 4 a.m. You're a vampire. All right. Well, let's let, let the lady sleep then. Yeah. Naya starts work soon. No. He's asking Natalie to hang out now. I think Natalie would go. That is crazy. Let's go with Naya to work for today. All right, we're at work. She's like saying hi to all her coworkers, like, hello, good morning. Now she's gonna go chat with her patient. This is like possibly some of her last days as a human, which is interesting. Is she's like, hello, welcome. Yasuk. I hope you're in great hands. I'm gonna swap you for a sample. I'm gonna take your temperature. Oh, she did it successfully. I'm so proud. We're gonna analyze this sample. All right, she acquired a logic skill and the analysis was complete. And now we can give him a shot, probably. Yeah. She did it! Nice! So we're back from a long day at work. She really needs to go. She really needs some good hygiene. She's just really kind of a wreck, to be honest. Meanwhile, Natalie's had a pretty chill day, as usual. But I think maybe she'll invite over to hang out the lot Vlad this time around. There's Vlad! See, now he comes up to the door. Tell an engaging story. Be like, oh my gosh, I've had like the most crazy feelings recently. She's slipping from humanity. I love it. Good to see you. Meanwhile, like Naya is just like kind of struggling along here. But does she know Vlad very well? Actually, she knows him pretty well. No, no she doesn't. She has like zero relationship with Vlad. Uh, Caleb would like to come over. Yeah, that's totally okay. You can come over, come hang out. Ask him to come inside. Oh my gosh, there's two boys outside now. They're both the vampire boys. She's here, she's chatting with the guys now. Wow, he really doesn't seem to like her. This is so frustrating. Apologize maybe if she offended him. I don't know when she would have. They're really not getting along. Tell him a funny story. He really doesn't seem to like her. Wow, this is very unpleasant of a conversation. 
I don't know how she's gonna get oh, turned unless we just wait us. for Natalie to turn so she can turn Naya. Oh my gosh, you know what? I think she should just ask him to leave. She'd be like, you know what? My sister's not up. I think you should go. I'm really tired. Aw, oh, she's giving her a hug. She's like, ah, oh, it's been such a stressful day. Let's try yeah. one more time, because they were in a public place when she asked him again. He's feeling flirty, which is interesting. Naya's not the type to like jump in there hot. Ask to turn. All right, let's try one more time. She's talking about vampires. Again, he said no. I don't think she'd flirt with them right now. It feels like the wrong time. Wow, this is so hard because like the big master vampire doesn't like her for some reason. I think he sees that she's too nice. So she's having such a hard time being turned. Oh, she's probably so sad too. Cause she's like really wanted to be a good vampire. And now she's just still a human. Meanwhile, her sister is getting everything that she wants. Oh, oh my goodness. All these stomach aches. I don't know how Naya's gonna do it. I don't know how Naya's gonna get turned. Who is that outside? What are you doing out here? You know what? I feel like Natalie would have a lot of fun just like being mean to this person. Rude introduction. What the? Oh wait, he's a vampire. He's a vampire? He just made a vampire noise. You know what? Friendly introduction. Why don't you go down there, my girl? Go see if this guy's a vampire. Oh my gosh! She's turning! Oh! That's her evil vampire look? Oh, Natalie, you can do so much better. Wow! Look at her vampire energy and her power points! She's got four power points! Oh my gosh. Cast hallucination, detect personality, bat form, eternally welcome, oculence student, vampire creation. She needs three more points and then she can do a vampire creation. Okay, well, I think I'm gonna leave this here because she is officially a vampire. Our girl is a vampire, Natalie made it happen. Naya, still a human, still wanting to be a vampire, but I think, you know, I think it makes sense that hers is gonna take a little bit more time than Natalie does. Natalie wants to be that super, super vampire. So thank you guys so much for watching this. We will continue on in our quest of two vampire twins. So much fun playing with you guys today. I hope you did too. And thank you so much for watching all these videos. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.